It's year 1560 and Elizabeth has been on the throne for two years. Preparations are being made for her to visit the palace in one of her many progresses. The palace is almost ready for the arrival of our new queen. We must check and dust the portrait gallery. They say that Queen Elizabeth has the red hair of her father. Just look at King Henry here. What a terrifying man he was. So cruel. I hope her red hair is not a sign of ill temper. And that's the father's portrait probably you might find out. She should want to study it first. You hear that he was slender and handsome when he was a young man. And very talented too. He even wrote music. And he was a great man. Oh, man, how he loved his penny. Yes, but look what happened when he became king. Everyone was terrified to put a foot wrong, and he certainly made sure he got his own way. And what a shock when he broke away from the church for and made himself head of me. Life should you do change. I did. I urgently needed a heir to my throne. A wife could give me a family of fine, strong sons, but all my wives were useless. Catherine of Aragon was my first wife, and no one can say I let her down without giving her a fair chance. <laughs> she was married to Henry. That was before all the troubles with the church began. Before I was married to Henry, I was married to his brother Arthur, but Arthur died. I was married to Henry the year he became king. He was such a handsome prince at age 18. We were married for more than 20 years now, but the, child, but the only child I had was married. Henry was very disappointed and so eventually could stand in no longer and divorce him about her. At this time, everyone in England was Roman Catholic and divorce was not allowed. The Pope would not let Henry break the rules of the church and divorce Catherine of Aragon. Henry closed his monasteries and took their wealth. Priests were made to change to his new church or they were put to death. For the first time, the Bible was written in English instead of Latin and so was the Lord's Prayer. This pleased the common people who would understand the words for the first time. Henry formed a brand new church, made himself the head of it and called it the Church of England. He then gave himself permission to divorce and remarry. Little Anne I was in a courtier in Henry and Catherine's court when Henry fell in love with me. I wasn't, I wasn't surprised I fell for me, men did find me very attractive. We were married straight after the divorce and I knew I had to give him a son, but all I managed was another daughter, Elizabeth, my new queen. But then it all went wrong. Henry accused me of encouraging other men to admire me. It's not my fault I'm so attractive, as I have said, but he was so angry he had me beheaded. Not a nice experience at all. I can assure you. Yes, she lost her head over him, a warning to us all. Then I fell sick when my darling son was only 12 days old. I died. Sorry, I can't go on. Oh, poor dear! And here we have 
Dad and Alf Cleaves, wife number four. Henry, Henry so wanted a good child-bearing wife, he said, cause he was to search all over Europe for a new queen. They came to Germany and found me. Henry and I had never even met when I came to England to marry him. What a disaster that marriage was. We really didn't like each other at all. Henry spoke many languages, but not mine, of course, and I spoke no English. Henry, Henry, you were very impatient and he's not at all nice to me. I hear he referred to me as a horse behind my back. We were soon divorced and I was really not sorry. It wasn't a love match. and took my place at court. Before then, I had been secretly engaged to be married, but nobody could know, especially not the king. Henry asked me to marry him, and I was flattered. Well, I was only young, in my teens, in fact. But when we were married, someone told my secret, and Henry had me beheaded. He went mad with jealousy. I should have known better than to trust him. Do you think you went into that marriage, no? Hearing what happened to Anne Boleyn, was she a foolish girl or a brave lady? And here we have the last wife, number six, Catherine Parr. The king needed yet another wife and decided that it should be me. I was a bit nervous, I must say, but it was safer to agree. He never knew what might happen if he crossed the king. I had been married before, twice in fact, but both of my husbands died. I became more of a nurse than a wife and looked after poor Sir Henry until he died. He had very bad legs and was dreadfully overweight. Not the fit, handsome man he used to be, but at least I outlived him. and reformed religion. Many of the monasteries were corrupt and it was not all that fantastic and good when the church was under the rule of Pope. I became defender of faith and I also defended my country very well. I founded the Royal Navy and my ships and, ships and men were feared throughout the world. And here we have the crew of the Mary Rose, Henry's favourite ship. Mary Rose was a flagship of the Royal Fleet, a magnificent warship. Many were the battles we fought for the king and we always came back triumphant. Until that fateful day in 1545. We were angered with the fleet of Portsmouth, ready to battle with the French in the Solent. And Henry came to watch the battle from the South Sea Castle. We weighed anchor and the fleet set sail. The conditions were good, we thought we were sure of the victory. The ship was fitted with heavy cannons on each side, primed and ready to fire at the French ships. The older were given to fire on the first side of cannons, blades at the French. Then the order was given to turn the ship and fire the cannons on the other side. We started to obey the order and all hell was at loose. The ship began to take in water. We were sinking right before the eyes of King Henry himself. 
There was shouting and hollering and the air was thick with gunpowder. Some of us drunk, some of us went down with the ship. Most of those on board died that day, only a few survived. And so who knows, he thought it was too enough hole standing not too far away from me, forgot to give the order to close to, to close the gun port so to find the first of the cannons at the French. Then as we turned, the ship does it and was I pouring it into the gun port. How dare you the gun port to close, I swear! The great mystery has never been solved to this day. explorers across the oceans to where no man has ever seen before. It's the dawn of a new age. And here we are talking about days gone by when we should be paying attention to our duties today. The Queen will be here at any time. Get back into your pictures, all of you. Back into the past where you all belong. We must go. The Queen's carriage is at the gate. Thank you for listening about the wonderful me.